Good morning, folks. Noctilucent clouds, a rare Arctic phenomenon with no real explanation in standard climatology, now being seen every day at lower and lower latitudes. Here's a clue, we've been saying it for months. Over-ionization and star water. This is some good facts about 2012's weather, and a good laugh when they suggest that there might not be any climate change and that extreme weather is normal. I guess I don't know what extreme is. And there's a good article here about how the experts' valence models are wrong. A 5.1 earthquake struck the Mid-Atlantic Ridge yesterday. A bit later, a moderate tremor struck between South America and Antarctica. Four-pointers in the Caribbean are always above average, and as you can see below, Hope Gulf Coast residents are taking precautions for this storm. Weather Channel confirms could be a problem for the U.S., and there's more. Another system right behind Ernesto you can see on Hurricane Tracker. Pulling up the pressure map and focusing on the North Atlantic, this high-pressure system right here will prevent the storms from going north while it persists. Ernesto and his shadow will be guided into the Gulf if that does not change. For those who know that cyclone after cyclone is pounding the Far East, each is spawned in this area here and then tossed north towards China. Well, when these storms get to the Gulf, you can see there's going to be energy galore to absorb. You know, yeah, the Midwest has a bullseye on its back this evening. It's not hard to check Torcon once a day, and if you live in the United States and you don't, come on. The magnetogram shows magnetic complexity of moderate degree all over. Sunspot number is high, but we have seen no big flares for days. Not one to postpone a show, however, the solar watch is high for one reason. Tiny bits of dark material shifting around above the solar surface here was a tiny plasma filament. It ripped off and was barely noticeable. The gigantic plasma filament turning the western limb near the solar equator is in the process of breaking free right now. If you are watching, you can get more up-to-date images. And with those two in mind, the solar watch is high because of this filament turning to face Earth now. An eruption in the next three days could be geo-effective. We are ten days from our next significant conjunction, Mars and Saturn with a new moon following. Neptune's geocentric solar opposition is ten days after that, a day after the monthly lunar perigee. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.